Hi, this is Levi with CountertopEpoxy.com. We're going to show you today how to do a white marble countertop. We poured full backsplashes horizontal and then put them in place using silicone to glue them to the wall. Then after fabrication of the countertop, we went ahead and poured our epoxy up to that so that you wouldn't have any caulking joint or anything. It looks a lot nicer, it's a lot cleaner, and you don't never have anything you have to redo in the future. Right here we're actually pouring our main layer of epoxy. We usually pour two pours, one with all our base colors, and then we'll come over the top of the clear and adjust any colors for the customer. And when you spray your accents on the top of a clear, you get a real nice 3D look. After pouring it out on the countertop, we start out by rolling around the edges. The reason we're doing this is we want the main pour of epoxy to roll over the edge, and we want it to have broken the surface tension so that it doesn't choose just a few little paths and run off in like streaks. It's a lot smoother once you actually roll that edge first and then push it over. You'll kind of see what we mean here. So just take your time. Generally if the countertop is nice and level, it's not going to cause um, any problems to let take your time rolling it into place. Remember you're not trying to just get the color, you're actually trying to create a very level even surface. So even though that's epoxied all the way across, you see that I'm actually still pulling my roller both directions over it. You can use a paintbrush to get into any of your corners you need to. And again, just take your time because you're not in a hurry if you're organized with your mixing and whatnot. If you notice, we went ahead and primed our edges. That's why you see all the edges are white on this before the epoxy goes on it. That way if the epoxy pours a little bit thin on the edge, you still see that perfect white color through it. We do this with all our colors, so whatever color you want in your epoxy, we always prime the edge with that exact same color with a curable pigment. We're going to start out by lightly torching every square inch of the countertop, and then we're going to go back at a 45 or a 90 and torch it all again. Don't overheat the countertops, but definitely spend your time making sure you get out all the air bubbles. Now we're spraying alcohol. This is a 91% isopropyl mix with our powdered colors mixed in with it. All the alcohol evaporates and doesn't leave a residue, so you never get yellowing. Using isopropyl alcohol ensures that you don't leave any petroleum on the surface which causes yellowing, especially in whites. So it's really nice to use isopropyl because it also bursts air bubbles. If you notice one thing, it might be a little hard in the video to see, but we spray each one of our three accent colors to the complete countertop before going to the next color, which means I usually start with my most contrasting color, in this case it's charcoal, and then I spray a really light diluted version of silver, and then I go on to my white pearl. That way if I do something that's a little too drastic, I can always come back and kind of tone it down with whatever color it is that matches the best. I'm just doing a simple skip trowel pattern right here. The product actually kind of thickens up and allows you to just skip the trowel right over the surface of it. As it starts thickening up even more, about two hours into the curing process, you can come along and simply scrape off the drips with a putty knife. You should do this initially when the product's pretty runny and you should just continue doing this until it kind of firms up. Eventually it's going to stop dripping and you do your final scrape and it's a whole lot easier than having to sand them. It's never bad to come back over with a torch one more time if you see any air bubbles. And remember, when you're adding a second coat of clear resin to the top, it is going to protect these quite a bit and you're also going to get a lot more level of a surface. Thank you for watching the video today. Um, be sure to like it and subscribe to our channel. Comment down below what you'd like to see in the future. Anything concerning the job, prep, how to do it, we'd love to talk to you.